Good morning. Today is the day we are heading to Kiev. We're going to get on a six or seven hour bus ride and head north where we will be spending a good week. Lots of cool stuff coming up. We have some pretty wild adventures and some things you've probably never seen before up close. So stay tuned. But now we have a bigger issue and that is Thomas is packing. I'm packing. Um, There's a ridiculous amount of clothes. It's ridiculous. It's got to still fit all of this, all of that, <laughs> into this this already almost full bag. <laughs> we'll see if he can do it, ladies and gentlemen. You need a big cart. Costco carts is what I need. Dude, yeah, yeah. Costco carts. It's just like walking around the streets of like. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it gonna shut? Yeah, of course it is. Hold on. Okay, I have to loosen it and then tighten it first. See, ready? Oh, Thomas down. Yay, oh. This backpack is beating me up. Rude. See, she's like kind of compactish. She full. This is what happens when you overpack. Don't do it too kids. much. Don't pack all your clothing. <laughs> we just got to the bus station and apparently the office that we're trying to buy the tickets for, the line that we're trying to ride is closed. <laughs> <laughs> the line we're trying to get on is closed, so we're gonna see if we're gonna be able to get tickets or maybe ride a different line. Yeah, we'll see. Always an adventure trying to get on buses in Eastern Europe. Never seems to work the first try, or they're late, so we'll see. So when they opened up the bus station ticket office again, we were informed that there was no bus. We will have to wait till 4.30 for the bus, so it's okay because now we know where to go and we're just gonna chill. Yo. Yeah, we're not doing much tonight. We're gonna go to sleep. Yeah. But tomorrow, we're going exploring. Until then, see you later. It is now the next day, and we're on our way to go check out the Independence Square and see where the Maidan protests happened back in 2014. We'll talk about that a little bit. And then we're gonna head to the, the deepest metro station in the world and have a look at that and see how deep it really is. So it should be an interesting day. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So here we are at Square. This is where the 2014 Maidan protests took place. I'm sure you probably saw something about it on the news. There was lots of violence, mass amounts of people. 400 to 600,000 people were in this square and actually throughout the city of Kiev. These people were protesting at the time President Viktor Yanukovych. He was set to sign a agreement with EU to create some ties and start to progress the country and at the last moment he decided not to sign and anti-government protesters came to Kiev and all the main cities in Ukraine. They protested as well as anti-Maidan protests and police. Violence broke out and there were 113 casualties by the end. Following the protest, Viktor Yanukovych fled to Russia and was overthrown. A new government was installed. Within a few days, they signed the agreement with the EU. Following the protest began some more violence in the East, which is still happening today. There is literally a war going on in this country in the Eastern part, which I'll talk more about in another day. On March 1st, Vladimir Putin sent his troops to annex Crimea. It is a extremely important geographical region. So that's just a very small overview of what the significance of this square has. But I will go into more detail about the war going on in the eastern part of Ukraine and go more into detail about how safe or dangerous this country is. 
because of the war. Oftentimes, Ukraine gets a bad rep because the only time we saw it on the news was during the protests and saw fire and bombs and bullets and people dying. And so I'll talk about more about that in another video. For now, you can take a look at the square. It is a really nice place. There's lots of people here hanging out. Yeah, great day. Check it out. People change to catch some nice views here. Pretty sick. Saturday afternoon in the park, everybody's hanging out. All around good vibes here. Cannot complain. a really good dinner had some nice views earlier it was a really good time now we're walking to the deepest subway station in the world and we stumbled across traditional folk dancers and it looked like they were having a flash mob because other people were joining in who like knew all the words and dance and everything have a look Arsenala, Arsenala Station. We begin our 105.5 meter descent. was not very cool but definitely worth going down the escalators you're it's so deep your ears pop it was a good day yeah it was a chill day overall anyway we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>